fans. The receipt is in hand. Rent is paid, courtesy of Dopes on the Ropes. August 15th is a go. Social distancing in effect. Master mandatory for all fans and everyone at ringside. Let's be safe. Let's be smart. Let's offer self a little show called Winner Takes All. Sebastian Wolf, or as they say in Latin, Crustaceous Lupus. See you August 15th! Breaking news, wrestling fans. Due to a family matter, Grant Sale has had to back out of the tournament this Saturday. While we wish him the best, this now makes the tag team qualifier a triple threat match between Draven Andrews, Elliot Tyler, and Jordy Taylor. While the winner advances to the semifinals to face yours truly, Mad Dog Marty Sugar, the two men that failed to win must immediately face off again in one last chance to make it to the quarterfinals. The following announcement has been paid for by the Dope World Order. August 15th at the Summerland Youth Center it is the Okanagan Cup, and that determines who's going to take home the Okanagan Cup and... The Big West Wrestling Television Championship. Now, there's a lot of great wrestlers on that card, like OGBJT, Jordy Taylor, Ace Redman Jr., Todd Quality. I could keep going on with a list of names, but there's one that sticks out in particular. One of my associates, which is Draven Andrews, one half of the best, me being the other half, obviously. And I want to get one message across. Win or lose, you still got to face Draven Andrews. But that's okay for us, because what's going to happen is you're just a stepping stone that we're going to use to get to the Big West Wrestling Television Championship, and it's coming home back to the coast with Draven Andrews. So August 15th, we'll see you there. And we're going to wipe the floor with everyone, because that tournament is ours. The World Order. I remember I was 16 years old, just a young kid going to wrestling shows in Cloverdale, BC. I remember watching some of the greats step in that ring, some legends, and some people that were only there for one show. And what I remember at that show was watching these two really good wrestlers have match of the night. And I remember going home and YouTubing them and seeing that they wrestled for a company called Big West Wrestling. And since I was 16, I firmly believe that one day I would be at Big West Wrestling going for their television championship, fighting their top guys, being in the main event since I was 16 years old. I thought I could be the man. I could cut my teeth up there. That's a company where you hit hard. And since I was 18, I've been plying my craft all through BC, and I've made a couple stops in the Okanagan, but not nearly as much as I should have. Because since I was 16, I wanted to be the man in the Okanagan Territory. One more. I need more. We'll have more. <laughs> the Okanagan Cup, the Big West Wrestling Television Championship. I want them, and I will have them. To those in the tournament, I ask you one question. Are you ready? Are you training like I am? Are you focused? Do you live it? Do you breathe it? <clears throat> Are you obsessed? Is it on your mind from when you wake up to go to sleep? Is it? <clears throat> Tell me. <laughs> There's a spot missing, you know. Right here. And I plan on filling it.
While all three of those men are guaranteed at least one more match on Saturday, the next two men don't have that luxury. Two of the biggest bullies in the tournament square off in the third and final qualifier as Sebastian Wolf tangles with Todd Quality and Todd's manager and BFF, Lance Skulls. All right, so all the pieces are on the board and the game can begin. Todd, Todd, okay. <laughs> The game can begin. Now, August 15th, Summerland, Okanagan Cup, winner take all. We've got our first challenger. The only challenger we know right now is one Sebastian Wolf. Now, he's a noble knight, but he's no pawn to be sacrificed. He got famous for beating a bag. That's nothing against him. World famous. But he's no king. Not like my number one dime, Todd Quality. Because when we go out there, we're going for the long haul. This is not no first round checkmate. Now, Todd, you're a man of intelligence, wit, and, well, dare I say, a better vocabulary and lexicon usage than I have. What do you got to say? This is not a game! August 15th, see you there. You know, for months now, I've had to read and listen to a bunch of punk-ass wannabes talk about how I got famous beating up a bag. How I can only beat a bag. And all this other nonsense that people need to grasp onto because they know that one-on-one, -on -one, toe to toe, there ain't a goddamn soul in the Okanagan, in BC, or in the Pacific Northwest, period, who can stand toe to toe with me. You want to talk about the total package? Bigger, stronger, faster. Nobody has all three the way I do. And come August 15th in Summerland, everybody can get it. You're all going to find out from Todd Quality to Chucky Lee Ray and Lance Stalls, you big mouth little punk. You keep talking that shit, you'll find out too. I will see you boys there. Game on. While five men are looking to move into the quarterfinals and beyond, three men have already received buys. Two for being former Big West television champions, and one for being not only a former champion, but the only former Okanagan Cup winner in the tournament this year. Let's first look at Ace Raymond Jr. and Chucky D. Ray, two men that are no strangers to each other. The former Big West wrestling television champion, I won that championship back in May of 2019. And then I went on to defend the championship for about 27 days before I got defeated in a triple threat match against David Deals and Ace Redmond Jr. And Ace Redmond Jr. walked out with that championship. But then, January 24th, I won the Grappable Battle Royal. And the winner of that match got to face him that exact same night for the Big West Wrestling Television Championship. And I almost became two-time Big West Television Champion. But he beat me. But I got another shot at the Big West Wrestling Television Championship on August 15th at the Sunland Youth Center in the Okanagan Cup Tournament. So to all my opponents, I'll see you, see you there. To all my fans, glad to have you there. You can be cool, you can be shy. Say what you want, say what you like. Okanagan Wrestling fans, it's Big West Wrestling's least favorite son, all attitude, Ace Redmond Jr. And Saturday, August 15th, we're hitting up the Summerland Youth Center one more time for Big West Wrestling Presents Winner Takes All, the Okanagan Cup. And I'm here to spill the tea for you, give you a little spoiler. All Attitude is walking home, the two-time Big West Wrestling Television Champion. Why? Because this tournament is filled with some of the most tenacious competitors that British Columbia has to offer. But if you think I'm going to let some punk from Vancouver take home the only active professional wrestling title in British Columbia, you got another thing coming. 
A R J two time. Say what you want, say what you like, cause who you might talk to. Of course, Ace's promo was filmed before 365 Pro got back in action in Campbell River on August 1st, where Travis Williams and Liza Hall both became the first 365 Global Champions in their respective divisions, and Jordy Taylor defended the 365 Grand Championship. While we are happy to see wrestling starting back up on Vancouver Island, we will remind everyone that it's up to us to be the first line of defense against coronavirus. Masks, sanitation, cleansiness, social distancing, and avoiding contact with others if you have any sort of flu-like symptoms. Together we can get through this and anything else that comes our way. And right now what's coming your way is me as I finally cut a promo for this amazing show and I try to become not only a two-time television champion but the first ever two-time Okanagan Cup winner. Here we go. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. I don't know, man. It could be Camaro Cope. Cope's not going to be there. Cope's not going to be there? Nope. Cope's got the prior engagement. Oh, man. Could be Ace. I mean, could be two-time. Yeah, he's really good. I don't want it to be Ace. Nobody wants it to be Ace, but he's just that, you know, I want to hate the guy, but he's too damn good. Too damn good. Too damn good. Um, Chucky? Chucky. Chucky's always got a chance. Chucky bumps. Chucky does bump. You know who else bumps? Jordy Taylor. Jordy Taylor doesn't bump. Jordy Taylor doesn't bump. <laughs> <laughs> he's already got two belts. See, how many, how many belts does the guy need? Dude, he's going to be Jordy Four Belts. You just wait. Jordy Four Belts? Jordy Four Belts. How many more belts are there? There's many. Good he, God. He's going to take them all. Who else we got? Uh, oh, we got Mad Dog Marty Sugar fighting for his own belt. Mad Dog Marty Sugar. Yep. Well, you can never count a guy out winning his own belt. He jumped himself right to the semifinals, don't you know? Did he? He did now. Well, that's that probably helps his odds. Yeah, that's something. You got better odds than I do now. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I think he always did. Well, maybe not right now. What do you mean? Well, saying he's got a better shot at the Big West title than even I do right now is a little bit of a stretch, considering I like to think possession is nine-tenths of the law. What is, what is this now? This is the Big West television title, and this is what is up for grabs. Why does it say you bought this for $25? Because I did. Bargain bin, baby. Gotta love it. Wow. Can, can I see it? Absolutely! It's ours! Huh. The dopes have the Big West Wrestling TV title. I guess it's fair to say that we really get to decide where this belt goes at the end of this tournament. Yeah. I mean, we, possession is nine-tenths of the law. I like it. We'll see you guys all at Yearn for the Cup, August 15th. Man, that promo felt good. Moving on, we've got a special semi-main event gauntlet match, which has just been added to the card. This will give our cup finalists a brief respite before the winner takes all finale. Two wrestlers will start, and once one is eliminated by pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification, another competitor will enter the battle. At this point, the rumored competitors are the seven-foot-tall giant Gunner, the man formerly known as Scooter Hansen, Miles DeVille, Liza Hall, and this enigmatic character, Eli Surge. Hello, it is I, Eli Search, here to talk to you about the number 15. Now, 15 is the number of matches that I have had in Big West Wrestling, which breaks down to a record of 3 and 12, which might not sound impressive to you, but it is, and here's why. In 2002, when Justin Timberlake released Justified, I thought that was a bad record. Turns out I've been missing out on classics for years, and I am now crying a river. But back to the 12 and Big West Wrestling, when you break Big West Wrestling down to BWW and you assign a number to the position that each of those letters is in the alphabet, you get 2, 23, 23, which 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 equals 12. You take your 12 plus the three times that I have wrestled Martin Sugar of Big West Wrestling, and you get 15. Synergy is lining up here, and Synergy cannot lie. Now, you talk about Summerland, you take all of the letters from Summerland, and again, you assign a numeric number position alphabet. I'm just gonna put it on the screen. There. Bam. Magic. You add all those numbers up. You get 120. 
Now, 120 divided by 8, where did the 8 come from, Eli? That's a good question. Well, on August 15th, in Summerland, for Big West Wrestling, I, Eli Surge, will be in a gauntlet match that might include 8 participants. So 120 divided by 8 is what? I'll let you guess. No, I won't. It's 15. So, August 15th, I will be in Summerland to defeat possibly 8 people, hopefully not 120 people, but it also could be 15 people. The numbers don't lie, and neither do I. I am Eli, and remember, do not believe reality. Now aside from the wrestlers themselves, what about our support staff? This is going to be a big show, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of work involved. We're going to hear from one of our play-by-play -play guys, Justin Sider, and our hotshot young referee, Colton G. Now that is exactly how I feel. 13 weeks as the internet champion, absolutely exploding onto the scene. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between. Everyone in the family, what a wild ride. Fresh off my 24-hour promo. Big thanks to everyone who was there, all my special guests, all my watchers, all my viewers, all your comments, hundreds and hundreds of comments. But now... On to bigger, better things. August 15th, Summerland, BC. Big West presents Winner Takes All. Yours truly will be there on commentary, calling all the action. Now, although the entertainment provider isn't slated to be competing on the contest, you all know, card is always subject to change. See you August 15th. Pete, why would I check my booking emails? We already went over all the details to the Okanagan Cup on the July 4th show. What do you mean things have changed? Title? What, what, what do you mean title? <laughs> no, that's not what we talked about. Do, what, what is this? No. No, like, the, the, how many matches is this? Does he think that we're camels? Like, no. Does he honestly think we're cactuses? Like, I'm going to have to start drinking water right now just in order to be hydrated for this thing. Like, this is going to be an Armageddon deathmatch type situation. Like, there's nine matches here. What do you mean more? What? Oh, man, like, I'm gonna have to start drinking water right now. I'm gonna have to buy a coffee maker. We're gonna be here till two. I don't even own a coffee maker. Cardio. Oh, but I gotta let you go right now. I, I, I gotta start training for this. Wait.
And let's not forget our next show after August the 15th is September 26th in Summerland. Live, Laugh, Lariat, where Camaro Cope is guaranteed a title shot. And we'll explain why he's not in the tournament right now. You know, barbarians at the gate tried to get me. But their sword couldn't pierce through my heart. And the snakes in the grass all came for me at once, but their venom wasn't potent enough to put me down. So I ask, what are you gawking at? I'll give you the three swords that hang over my head every time I walk out there. One. Oh, he lost the television title on his first attempt. It was just luck he won it in the beginning. Two. Why is Cope get every opportunity? Hmm? Why does he get everything? He doesn't work hard. And three. Why does some dumb backwoods hillbilly get what he doesn't deserve? Do you have to go out there every time and mutilate someone to prove just what you're capable of? No. Do you face doubt from all angles every time you go into a match? No. no. Does everyone have buyer's remorse about you? No. No, they don't. No, this is long. This isn't the one minute talk down problem. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Because my speed is frightening. My strength is beyond reason. And my resolve is, well, frankly, unbreakable. So you can come with any technique, any plan. I'll just smash right through that. Because it doesn't matter what your name is. It doesn't matter who wins Okanagan Cup August 14th. Because come September 26th, live, laugh, lariat. Your name doesn't matter because to me, you are just prey. Minnesota. People don't quite understand what it means to be from Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> 